What is going on guys? My name is John back again from Moment of Views here with another episode of reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3 Episode 4 Kaguya Shinomiya's Impossible Demand A Kaori a swallow gave birth to Part 1 Yu Ishigami wants to prove himself worthy and Chika Fujiwara wants to stay over None of those are ringing a bell So I think I'm in for a treat the like to dislike ratio, which I'm not even surprised there's a dislike ratio, but it's 1k to 2. So, I, needless to say, I think the uh, levels are quite high. A couple things I'd like to say before I jump into this reaction. One, in case you were wondering, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I have dropped reactions to Shield Hero. This season is just not my jam. It's not something I'm really interested in. If it picks up again later on down the road, I might pick up reactions while I continue watching it. Yeah. Um, just maybe not on a week-to-week -week basis and completely caught up. It's just kind of boring to me. This season is not my cup of tea. So, hopefully it picks back up later on down the road, but from what I've read and what other people have been saying, uh, who have read the light novel, this is a bit of a slower season. So, maybe, uh, this just season is not for me and it'll pick up on another season. Not entirely sure, but who knows. Um, and also, I look like this because I've been off all day today and I've been suffering from terrible stomach aches uh, from medicine I've been taking and plagued with this horrible headache so yeah my hair's a kind of a mess but it is what it is so oh well, I'm not trying to impress anyone except my girlfriend but she don't care what I look like so <laughs> but yeah I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction I do apologize that I'm a little eight but the reasoning is below, or above, but yeah. Anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction, so without further ado, let's jump in to Season 3, Episode 4, Kai Gets Time Love is War, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Then no, I'll love you, Debbie, now. <laughs> uh, jealous single people. I used to be one of them. <laughs> Out of the three openings we've gotten, what are your favorites for Kaguya? Like, I love this opening. I still think, though, Spike's family is the best. From the season. Shield Hero was nothing to talk about. Oh, he's a bopper. <laughs> she got a point. One thing I really hope we get to see a little bit more is later on down the road, they tend to do with more, much more. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that smug face. I don't like this painting. It's smug aura is mocking me. <laughs> she instigates. She instigates more. He's gonna break. Uh, he's just gonna be bang his head. <laughs> Jesus. You can't. <laughs> I never thought I would have seen a you died meme. Or sorry, you can't die meme. Oh, but as I was saying, um, there's some things that um, the show definitely tackles that I want to see more. Um, the series. Um, they talk a little bit more about more mature themes later on, and I really hope we don't we actually get to see a lot of that stuff because I think that's where the strength of the show continues to get better at. I'm dropping stuff. It's okay. We're good. Right? Pop meat kettle. <laughs> Maybe I can use this. Mm -mm. Oh, so there there we get the Ultra Romantic. Oh no, it's gonna be a fucking full blown creep a deep. Don't do this. Don't. You know what that you know what this deserves? It deserves a bra button. Because goddamn. Exactly. Stranger danger. Bad touch. I mean, I mean, a little more. Is that how it works? No. No. I love it. I love it when she, the voice actress for Kage, just loses that calm calmness. Definitely adds to the comedic element to it. Love talk. Who else would be spying on them? It's not subject E. It's not subject G. It's right in between the two of them.
It's true. Like, very different dynamic than, at least in the States. You score top 50 in the school, and no one's going to give a shit. You score top 1 in the school, no one's going to give a shit. Heck, you score top 50 in Japan, though. All the girls just like, ah! It's a very different dynamic. That face, though, was amazing. Is that a motherfucking JoJo reference? I'm not gonna pause this. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. Oh. I have a headache, so this is... Laughing as hard as I am is not helpful, but I need to pause that frame. Because that is amazing. That might be one of the best freeze frames and a half a second frame I've ever seen. That was amazing. <laughs> he doesn't want to let her down.
See, I love this. This is one of the few times, like, it takes a break. It takes a sidestep from the comedy that we know this series is all about, for the most part. It talks about some serious aspects between the cast, um, the characters, which I love. Funny thing is, I think Kaguya-sama shines the brightest when it talks about the seriousness. Because it does it really well. Oh no. <laughs> you just... uh... Ah, that's too much. That's too much. Oh, Maki Shijo was three. Her cute moments are definitely a, a, a great thing. He'll, fall, he'll put his head on my shoulder. So I guess you could say best boy? <laughs> She li she lies as often as she breathes. A war orphan. Uh, subject F. In a different sense of a, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a full on yaoi. You know, I still have yet to see the OVA, the one where they're taking a bath or something, I don't know. I remember just seeing that as the thumbnail. Still have never seen the OVA. I know people wanted me to react, but it was during the time I, I like, basically took a full hiatus. Naruhoto.
It's like the drinking wine. So she's just naturally sleepy. Jeez, I wake up around that time for work. So now she's like, Pat, yep. Oh no. I legitimately don't remember this one. <laughs> K is great. Start K right in her tracks. Oh no. Damn. What is Kaguya gonna say? <gasps> oh no! Okay, right off the bat, this is false. This would never happen because if you're that tired, everyone knows that phone will slap you in the face. Right. <laughs> Look at Kay. And that's what you call a swing and a miss. She is best girl. <laughs> oh. oh, man. All right. Is there an ending to this? Just out of curiosity, because... Okay, now. Hold on. Really quickly. I need to go back. Just to this one play. This one scene. Because, my god. Was it one of the greatest scenes... I think it was right after this. <laughs> oh, 
much shit. Okay. Note to self. If I'm suffering through a headache, I might just have to wait. Wait until it goes away because it is so painful. I am in so much pain, but man, am I laughing so hard. <laughs> I mean, that scene, especially with just... <laughs> so it's just so good it's just so good you have no like the show does, doesn't deserve to be as funny it, it's weird it, so it's a great it's a great mix of hilarious full blown off the wall balls off the wall comedy and seriousness, the mo like its transition to seriousness was actually very well done. For the most part, it's comedy, 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 and then immediately swapped swapped to serious, and there wasn't it wasn't jarring. Going from comedic, just com everything comedic, to fully serious is very rare, and without a jarring uh, transition. So, and it pulled it off. It pulled it off. I thought it pulled it off very well. But yeah, um, I'm going to wrap up this video. It's almost at a half an hour, or a little less than a half an hour, a few minutes. But yeah, I enjoyed this video. I definitely need to lay back down and continue resting because my head still hurts. And the laughter did not help. But you know, I I'll take it. If I'm laughing so hard it hurts, it's it's not a bad laugh. But I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow for Spy X Family. See you guys later. Peace.